going on? Rob Fisher, BikeBandit.com. Who's in the house? Arai is in the house. It is my pleasure to bring you up to speed on the VX Pro 3. Fantastic helmet. I own this helmet. Uh, available in a bunch of sizes and a bunch of color options and solids as well as graphics. And to me, you know what I say, black, white, red. It's the fastest color scheme. But not only is it about fast, it's also about safety because it is awry. And they do one thing and they build fantastic helmets and it's all about safety. It's all about the dissipation of energy and a lot gets, a lot, a lot of the focus of helmets goes to street, road, track riding, et cetera, et cetera. And again, I mean, they've got guys in the MotoGP. Mind you, they got guys on the MX1, MX2, the AMA, et cetera, et cetera. But that gets a lot more attention, and the dirt deserves just as much attention. I don't want to say if not more, because again, everybody has a street right next to the house. And lately, of course, you kind of need to take your bike to a track unless you've got a dual sport, et cetera, et cetera. But you're, I think, I don't want to say you're much more likely to get hurt, but at least on pavement, you hit and you slide. On a racetrack, you hit and slide, and they got runoffs. Just as important on the street as the dirt is the concept of safety, dissipation of energy, especially on the dirt because you're much more likely to hit and snag. And that could send you into a spin. You could hit a tree, a rock, etc., etc. So Arai builds on this mentality. Do you see the egg? See the egg, and that's the shape, right? It's kind of an old joke. Hey, put an egg in your hand and squeeze it. But it is truly the perfect shape for dissipating energy. And when I fold the helmet back over, you're going to see that the, the, the circle has the best chance of dissipating energy, right? So what you have is on the egg. Let's say you have a frontal collision. And like I say, when I flip it forward, you'll notice how much shorter their snout, if you will, is compared to a lot of others out there. But you'll also see the round shape of it, right? Because, of course, that is much more likely to absorb energy and some companies build them straight on the, on the edge. In a front-end crash scenario, you have the potential to also take this structure and snap it inwards, where this, most of the time, because we've got to go with most, because there's no way to predict how you're going to crash. It's going to go out, as opposed to towards your face. But you're seeing how short that snout is, and everything's very, very round. There's nothing that's going to snag. They have, of course, all the vents are breakaway vents. You hit this hard enough, and it's going to pop off. Same shell mentality as, and construction as their street helmets. The internal EPS, the same as their street helmets. You have peel away cheek pads, so you get a little bit of extra real estate so you can truly snug up the fit on there. This thing is awesome. I love mine, and you're going to love yours soon. What you need to know when you go on the inside, okay, so of course, off-road, right? You're going to sweat like a champ. So you can take the cheek pads out, you can take the top liner out and wash it and make it all fresh. Little things that they think of. Glare, right? Like the baseball and the football player that put the little black stripe under there? Black up underneath. Why? Reduce glare. Keep you focused. Keep you happy. Keep you fresh. You're going to notice, and I'm kind of going blind here, underneath here, two intake vents, right? And in that top visor, in the peak, they have holes and channels, right? So you don't get that strain onto your neck. And as we spin that bad boy around, you're going to notice... See how smooth the shape is of all those vents? I don't know if you can make this one out, because again, it's very, very subtle, because again, they want that streamline effect. There's a slight little lip right here. Well, when you open up these exhaust vents, what are you doing? And there's the delta vent up top, okay? That is suctioning air out, creating a vacuum, because you ride fast. I don't ride so much fast. Uh, and that is drawing the air out, drawing the heat out, because again, we evacuate the heat off the top of our head, and these vents underneath, that's just the release of the vacuum. So we're jumping on the inside. You'll notice, of course, like I said, you can remove everything, but along with those cheek pads, having the peel away extra real estate, those little tabs, of course. Uh, emergency medical service folk, they know to look for those pads. Why? Because the last thing you want to do is try to take somebody's helmet off in an event of an injury, in an event of a crash scenario, so they can actually take these. There's little straps right behind there, and they pull out down and vertically, and then they can brace your neck and pull your helmet off without potentially creating more injury. Fantastic, fantastic helmet. I love this thing. 
intake vents on the inside here, one main, two on the side. They come around, groove through here, exhaust out the bottom, exhaust off the top, keeping you happy, keeping you fresh, and keeping you riding. From Arai, VX Pro 3. Well, there you have it. My video review of Arai's VX Pro 3. Anything and everything that you're expecting from Arai, top tier, top shelf, the absolute premier caliber helmet, you know you want one. Figure out your head size, use the size chart, pick your solid color graphic, whatever you like, add it to your shopping cart. It's as easy as that. Never hesitate. If you have a question, click on the support tab, go straight to the sales department. They'll answer any question you got. Pick up the phone and call us. Send us an email, whatever's easiest for you. I'm Rob Fish. We're BikeBandit.com. We love you. You should like us. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your ride. Enjoy your new ride.